Hi, I'm Priyanka Sambhav. I'm at Edelweiss office. And what we are doing here? We are learning with RG. RG is Radhika Gupta, uh, the MD and CEO of Edelweiss AMC. talk about investing you know one question that I often ask people what is the most important thing that you could do with your investment people give me answers like we should start investing we should you know start as soon as possible and we should do SIP everything a lot of answers come but they never tell me that we have to review our portfolio <laughs> and that's what we want to learn from you reviewing a portfolio is really important is it very important because you know you can't be reviewing it every day but at some point, you have to take stock. It's, a, it's, it's the same with anything in life, right? You know, you're not taking stock of your career every day. But at some point, you have to take stock of this is where I am, this is where I want to go. Am I going in the right direction? And I think a portfolio is, you know, that. At some point, you have to put a marker and say, Sai review karna over review kar dete hain log aur ya under review kar dete hain balance kaise lae actually aajkal over review zyada hota hai if you ask most people portfolio frequently kitna review karte hain most people would say once a month now in my world i do two things uh, my structural review jisko main kehti hu major review i do once in 5 years it may seem like 5 saal to a lot of people but i think if i look at 5 years 5 years is one how often my life changes meaningfully because otherwise portfolios don't need to change now something really has to change in your life for you to want to make drastic changes secondly five years is enough time to give the funds i have invested in in time and see if they are doing their job you know so the fund manager that i've given money to it's a good time to assess him or her and see ke ye log, kya kya hai. so i think five years works now in the middle do i do nothing uh, no um, you know, every quarter I just see what I have. So I take stock of it. And of course, if there's something drastic happening in the market, if there's something specific to kisi fund, mein hua hai, you're not static people. So, you know, you always have that flexibility. But major structural changes, I like to do once every five years. But then you're not averse to if something is not really going right mm -hmm. in between as well. You think if you have to sort of change a few things, you should? So if something is not going right is a is a little bit of a funny question. You know, if my fund is not performing well yeah. in three months, will I change things? No, because I really believe it is too short. But if there is an extraordinary event that has happened, if my own conditions have changed, for instance, if I was working in a job and suddenly I decided to quit and start my own business, that is a major change in financial circumstances. Would I review things then? Absolutely I would. Okay, right. So five year is something that you say, but yeah, three months mein aapko ek aad bar nazar zaroor daal nahi chahiye. Haan, nazar zaroor daal nahi Aur zindagi mein agar bohat kuch aisa badlaav aaya hai ki bhai, hum bohat sunte pink slip mil gai hai, aap naukri badal rahe hai, break le rahe hai, then you may have to just change your plan. Aap sabse important, kaise karein? What is the first thing? So, bohat cheeze hai is mein. I think pehli baat to when you review your portfolio, aam taur se loog performance ki baat karte hai. And performance is not the only part of review. Lekin, I'll start with that since that's important. See, I have and I have been investing in my AMC, other AMCs for now many, many years. You know, I am not someone who wants the best, best, best. That the, you know, best performing fund over the last one year is in my portfolio. In fact, I, all these flavor of the season or fashionable funds, you know, they're rarely in my portfolio. What I seek is some fund scheme manager who consistently delivers for me. Acha ho and top of the charts hone ki zarurat hai. Bura ho sakta hai kabhi short term mein, lekin bohat bura nahi ho sakta. Okay, so consistency becomes really important. Consistency is very important because I realized when a fund is not consistent, now I get agitated. And then I may redeem at the wrong time. So I don't want to do that. So clearly, Radhika, consistency is the key, right? So for me, it's, it's very important because I find that when there is lack of consistency, you know, I'm either very happy or very unhappy with my investments. And I'm very, when I'm very unhappy, then I have the temptation to do silly things, 
like stop them, which is not something I want to get into. So an above average consistent experience lets me stay in the game. Sanyasi ki tarah, it's a middle exactly. path, santoshi. <laughs> middle path. <laughs> अब ये बताइए लोग जब सिप करते हैं ना तो बहुत घबरा जाते हैं जब मार्केट गिरते हैं या बढ़ते हैं अचानक से तो फिर उनको लगता है कि अब कुछ करना चाहिए हमें अपने पोर्टफोलियो में और बहुत लोग पूछते लगते हैं अरे ये मार्केट गिर रहा क्या करें सिप रोकते या फिर मार्केट बढ़ गया अब तो बहुत महंगा हो गया क्या करें पैसे रिडीम करें ले क्या करें वॉट डी यू डू इन सच सिचुएशन और ये भी एक पॉइंट होता है रिव्यू करने का राइट कुछ मत करो दैट जब मार्केट गिरे तो सिर्फ काम कर रही है आप क्यों काम करने की सोच रहे हो सो when the market falls your sip is actually continuing and you're making an investment what is a sip you're making an investment at a lower market value to aapko khush ho ke shant baithna chahiye and i have realized i have done you know i do sips in balanced advantage funds mid cap funds all kinds of funds uh, to be honest over my career priyanka i have gone to one of the best business schools in the world i have traded some of the most complex investment products in the world I realize sip jaisi koi cheez nahi hai hmm. you know the simple sip works for everyone and in poor market conditions just let it run so market i buy die jahan bhi ja raha ho tab aapko review karne ka wo samay hi nahi hai actually that is the worst time to review okay. because you know jab market girta hai i feel you make the in stress in life insaan bure decisions hi leta hai in a state of stress so in states of market stress i always tell people decision mat lo lena bhi hai na so let that moment pass breathe let the market come back then decide okay so learning with rg i want to learn one thing about you do you invest in external amcs or you just stick to your company i do i do invest in external amcs i have been since before i became a mutual fund ceo um and uh, it is important one you get a sense of uh, what your competition is doing secondly bahut achhe asset management companies hain and uh, If you ever looked at my portfolio, you would be surprised at the kind of AMC's I invest in. Because as I said, too, very few of them would be there. I have only two criteria when I look at an external AMC because I'm from this industry. One is that I trust who I can trust. For me, money giving over my money to someone is all about trust. And so, I trust that brand or its people can trust me or not. This is my most important criteria. If the answer is no, it doesn't matter. the second is i try to look at who is good at what you know so you always you know uh, go to a restaurant and want to eat their best cuisine their specialty the same thing is with an amc so i try to identify what people's specialty is because very often people offer many many products but i like to go for the house special you just said that you know you i'll be surprised when i look at your portfolio so yeah. uh when you choose you know this particular a amc or b amc that i'm going to go with yeah what do you see do you see the size do you see what have they you know achieved or the kind of fund manager what do you look at amc mein size kitna matter karta hai so i actually don't look at size uh, too much i look at size but not the way you think i look at size uh main jaanti hu ki kuch categories jaise hai mid cap hai small cap hai उनमें अगर फंड बहुत बड़ा हो जाए तो फंड साइज बिकम्स वेरी बिग इट इज़ डिफिकल्ट फॉर द फंड मैनेजर टू डू देर जॉब इफेक्टिव एंड सो दैट इज़ वट आई लुक एट आई लुक एट फंड वेयर इन सर्टन कैटेगरीज इफ दे आर टू बिग टू डू देर साइज इफेक्टिवली देन आई प्रेफर टू अवॉइड अदरवाइज आई डोंट केयर कि आप आई रियली लुक एट द पीपल रनिंग द बिजनेस आई लुक एट द प्रैक्टिस देव हैड एंड एज आई सेड आई बिन इन द इंडस्ट्री फॉर यर सो आई लुक एट द प्रैक्टिस दैट आई हैव and i look at the expertise i look at the consistency that agar koi amc keh rahi hai ki mera ye investment karne ka tarika hai to wo usme khud believe karti hai ya bar bar change karti hai jab uski performance kharab hoti hai main aisi cheeze dekhti hu aap to radhika gupta hai aap industry ko andar se jante hain lekin ek retail investor jo shayad mahine mein 5000 ya 10000 rupaye ki sip kar raha ho wo kaise amc ko choose karega unke liye aap kya salah deti hain एक्चुअली आजकल तो मुझे लगता है ए एम के बारे में इतनी जानकारी है इतनी जानकारी है uh, मुझे लगता है लोग देखते नहीं हैं uh, मैं अपनी खुद की वेबसाइट की या किसी और की बात करूं तो किसी भी एम के बारे में उसकी फ़िलासफ़ी उसकी सोच uh, उसके फंड में क्या हो रहा है फंड मैनेजर का इतना मीडिया में चलन होता है तो मुझे लगता है आप पूरी रिसर्च कर सकते हैं hmm. आज की तारीख में जानकारी बहुत है ठीक है सो so, जानकारी की कोई कमी नहीं है लेकिन फिर भी एक एक जो मैं देखती हूँ मेरे पास जब लोग आते हैं कि उनके पोर्टफोलियो में ना 
जितने ज्यादा कैटेगरी हो के फंड्स हो वो उतना अच्छा बढ़िया पोर्टफोलियो है क्या आपको क्या लगता है ये इसको आप कैसे समझाती हैं कितनी स्कीम्स होनी चाहिए आइडियली किसी के पास नो प्रियंका आई मेट सॉरी टू आंसर आई विल आंसर योर क्वेश्चन आई मेट समवन हु टोल्ड मी दे सॉ अ क्लाइंट विद 410 स्कीम्स 410 स्कीम्स 110 schemes and these things scared the hobby me. buying the <laughs> no it is the index buying it's like you know you say that if you have too many stocks you buy the index if you have too many schemes you bought the industry hmm. <laughs> and it's a real problem these days i'm so glad you asked the question because itne products hain itni categories hain itne nfos aa rahe hain to aap kehte ho chalo kuch naya lete hain ye bhi lete hain ye bhi lete hain to aapke basket mein pata nahi kya kya i think reality for most of us is दस बारह स्कीम में हमारा काम हो जाता है मैक्स टू मैक्स टू मैक्स मैं एक सिंपल फ्रेमवर्क आपको देती हूँ जिसके बारे में मैं सोचती हूँ एक्चुअली हमारे म्यूचुअल फंड इंडस्ट्री में कैटेगरीज बहुत सारी हैं एंड यू कैन गेट सो कन्फ्यूज नाउ बॉम्बे हैज़ अ रेस्टोरेंट ओपनिंग अ डे बट डू यू गो ईट एट ऑल ऑफ दैम और इन डेली यू कॉन्ट ना यू गेट इन डाइजेस्टेड यू प्रॉब्ली हैव फाइव सेवन फाइव रेस्टोरेंट वन फेवरेट चाइनीज प्लेस वन फेवरेट इटालियन प्लेस वन फेवरेट थाली प्लेस वट एवर चार पाँच कैटेगरी होंगे इन टू थ्री रेस्टोरेंट्स एन एच That's the same with MC. So most people can do with one hybrid fund, one mid-cap fund, one multi-cap fund, one international fund, one fixed income fund. These four or five categories, say. more and two funds in each category. Most people's diet is ready to go. Okay, so not more than eight to ten funds. Not at all. ओके सो आपने कहा आप आउटसाइड ईडल भी ए एम सीज चुनती हैं तो उनका आप उनको कितना अपने पोर्टफोलियो में कितना इम्पोर्टेंस देती हैं कितने होंगे जो आपके कंपनी के नहीं हैं आपके पोर्टफोलियो में अबाउट ट्वेंटी फाइव टू थर्टी परसेंट ओके एनी गिवन टाइम माई ऑब्जेक्टिव और किसी का ऑब्जेक्टिव स्कीम भरना नहीं होना चाहिए अलग अलग फंड मैनेजर्स जो अलग सोच के हैं उनके आइडियाज आप अपने पोर्टफोलियो में लाएँ एक शब्द इज दिज अ वर्ड डाइवर्सिफिकेशन विच इज़ थ्रोन अराउंड अ लॉट नाउ डाइवर्सिफिकेशन इज नॉट कलेक्टिंग फोर हंड्रेड स्कीम्स इट इज़ कलेक्टिंग थ्री स्कीम्स विद डिफरेंट थिंकिंग ओके सो वॉट अबाउट पैसिव एंड एक्टिव बिकॉज आजकल सभी लोग पैसिव की बात कर रहे हैं कई सारे पैसिव फंड्स आ चुके हैं एंड एवरी वन इज टॉकिंग अबाउट दिस इज द नेक्स्ट बिग थिंग यू नो फॉर गेट लार्ज कैप पैसिव एंड रिटर्न के मामले में भी पैसिव आर डूइंग वेल यू नो फिर मुझे लगता है वो इतना कोई एक्सपेंस रेशो एक रिटेल इन्वेस्टर जो देगा एक एक्टिव फंड में अगर वो बचा के पैसे में रिटर्न कमा रहा है वाई नॉट सो आई एल मेक अ पॉइंट ऑन पैसे ऑन एक्सपेंस रेशो एंड आई मस्ट टेल यू यू नो जब ये क्वेश्चन हम लोगों के पास आता है टू बी ऑनेस्ट इट लाइक कम्स विद अ लॉट ऑफ एजुटेशन अच्छा एल्फा है एक्सपेंस रेशो जस्ट इट्स अ वेरी ड्रामेटिक क्वेश्चन आई डोंट बिलीव द वर्ल्ड इज सच अ ड्रामेटिक प्लेस आई बिलीव प्रियंका दैट अगर आपको पिज़्ज़ा खाना है आप कभी कभी पिज़्ज़ा हट भी जाते हैं और कभी कभी एक फाइन डाइनिंग रेस्टोरेंट जहाँ इटालियन खाना मिलता है दोनों जगह जा सकते हैं पिज़्ज़ा हट आप तब जाते हैं जब आपको एक बहुत बेसिक सिंपल चीज़ स्टैंडर्डाइज चीज़ जैसे यू ट्रैवल इन अ प्लेस लाइक चाइना गोड पिज़्ज़ा हट आई मीन स्टैंडर्ड यू डोंट हैव टू वरी ऑन एन एनिवर्सरी यू डोंट टेक योर हजबेंड टू पिज़्ज़ा हट प्रॉब्लम इज नॉट सच अ गुड आइडिया राइट बिकॉज यू वॉन्ट सम एक्सपीरियंस सो आई थिंक पैसे वन एक्टिव इज लाइक दैट आर टू साइड्स ऑफ अ कॉइन and i tell you i have a mix of both funds so you know uh, there's a particular category i like just ka mai zikr karti hu large and mid cap index fund you know any jo broad based exposure ki companies hain wahan mai passive chunti hu now small cap i believe for instance is a very actively managed category to wahan mai active chunti hu to consumer ke mind mein actually debate hona nahi chahiye kyunki consumer ke mind mein to options hain aap choose kar lijiye jo aapke liye better hai and I don't make these decisions based on what will perform and not what will perform. It's my need, hmm. you know. Is my need simplicity and a solution? Is my need? But do you think in a portfolio for diversification, you should have both active and passive, or you just, uh, you know, you could just choose one as you said. Yeah, your choice per hai. I I don't think you need both. I think it really depends on your need. You and the kind of investor you are, kind the kind of goal yeah, you're looking exactly. at. Exactly, it doesn't matter. And I. By the way, I should tell you, you know, say, आपने फीस का जिक्र किया आई एम नॉट ऑब्सेस्ड विद फीस आई एक्चुअली एम वेरी हैप्पी टू पे यू नो पॉइंट जीरो फाइव परसेंट मोर और टेन पैसा मोर टू सम वन वेन आई एम कन्विंस्ड इट रियली डजेंट मैटर बिकॉज वेन आई लुक एट इन्वेस्टिंग यू नो द मनी एंड वर्ल्ड इज सो लार्ज 
the difference in returns can be much more than the 5 10 basis points and mutual funds are so regulated i know i'm not overpaying so within that i don't worry okay so finally it boils down to we, we started how to review your portfolio what is your one mantra that you want to give to you know retail investor because we are learning from you so your mantra one mantra for reviewing your portfolio would be what so i think review it uh, review it every 5 years uh, apne life goals ke sath align kariye um, and one tip I would like to give you that one mistake we make that we don't do when we review is review how your portfolio fits into your lifestyle. Now what happens is five years later, most of our incomes have risen, mm. right? Salaries have gone up, etc. Five years ago, we would have set up an SIP amount. Say, ki, you know, I'm going to save 20% of my post-tax salary, right? But five years later, your income has risen. Actually, your but saving your SIP is still there. Your SIP is still there. So please... Top up your SIP amounts in your review. Lots of AMCs have these features where you can auto top it up. But please do this. I have definitely made this mistake. And suddenly you realize your bank account and your savings account is getting bigger because you are under investing every month. And so please review your SIP amounts every few years. So just don't sleep over it. Yeah, you have just, to keep just, thinking and, yeah. and seeing what changes. And one very important thing that I learned that, you know, personal finance is all about your personal needs. So your portfolio, whether it should have an active, passive, whether you should it should have seven schemes or eight schemes or ten schemes. It's your decision and it's your goal which will decide that. So that's what we are learning from Anji. Mutual fund investments are subject to market risks. Read all scheme-related documents carefully.